Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss about Cisco IOS modes of operation. We know that a console connection must be established to initially configure a Cisco device. Once we establish the console connection, uh, we can navigate uh, through various command modes of the IOS. Here, a Cisco IOS modes uses a hierarchical structure and they are almost similar in switches and routers. We will see primary command modes. The primary two command modes are user exit mode and privileged exit mode. We will see this one by one. Uh, first of all, uh, coming to user exit mode. This mode has a limited capabilities but is useful for basic operations. It allows only a limited number of basic monitoring commands but does not allow the execution of any commands that might change the configuration of the device. The user exit mode is identified by the CLI prompt that ends with the greater than symbol. I think we will see this user exit mode in our Cisco packet tracer. Here is our Cisco packet tracer. Here I am going to keep a router a 2911. Also, uh, we will keep a switch 2960. So, coming to our router, here we can see the CLI tab. So, here are this configuration dialog. We will give no. Press return to get started. So, here we are going to uh, press enter. Here we can see the first mode, user exit mode, router, then this uh, greater than. Here this name router is the default router uh, name. And then we can see this uh, greater than symbol. Uh, that means uh, now we are in user exit mode. In the same way, we can uh, go to this uh, switch, CLI. And here we can see press return to get started. We are going to press enter. And here we can see it shows a switch greater than. And this is the uh, switch name. It's a switch. This is a default name. And then we can see greater than. That means now we are in user exit mode. Now we will go to privileged exit mode. To execute configuration commands, uh, we must access privileged exit mode. Higher configuration modes like global configuration mode can only be reached from privileged exit mode. The privileged exit mode can be identified by the prompt ending with the hash symbol. Better we will go with our Cisco packet tracer again and uh, uh, we will uh, see uh, this uh, privileged exit mode. First of all we will come to this uh, router. And from this uh, mode, from this uh, user exit mode I am going to enable and here we can see now we are in privileged exit mode. Uh, this is the device name. Then we can see it shows hash. That means uh, we are in uh, privileged exit mode. Also, we will uh, uh, check in our uh, switch. Here we can see now we are in uh, privileged exit mode. Now coming to configuration command mode. For configuring the device, we must go to global configuration mode, which is called the global config mode. Whatever changes made in this global config mode, that will affect the operation of whole device. So this mode can be identified by a prompt that end with config hash just after the device name. We will see that mode using our Cisco packet tracer. So coming to our router, CLI, here we can see now we are in privileged exit mode here we have to give a command to go to global configuration mode uh, it's a configure terminal and we are going to press enter and here we can see it shows uh, the device name router and here we can see it shows config then hash that means uh, we are in global configuration mode now we will go to our switch here we are going to give configure terminal and here we can see now we are in a global configuration mode in this switch we can access a different uh, sub configuration modes from this global configuration mode this sub configuration modes allows the configuration of a particular part or function of the device 
here we can see two common sub configuration modes such as line configuration mode uh, it is used to configure console ssh telnet or aux access the second one is interface configuration mode used to configure a switch port or router network interface we will see those uh, line uh, configuration mode as well as uh, interface configuration mode uh, using our cisco packet tracer coming back to our uh, cisco packet tracer uh, first of all we will uh, check it on this uh, router first of all we will see uh, the line configuration mode uh, for that we have to give the command uh, line console 0 and here we can see now we are in a uh, line uh, configuration mode so it shows a router uh, this is the uh, device name then we can see config hyphen line then hash now we will see interface configuration mode uh, so here just I will exit and here we are going to give interface gigabit ethernet zero star zero and here we can see now we are in interface configuration mode so here it shows uh, device name then we can see config hyphen if then hash here this if means its interface sure no need to worry how uh, we are navigating from uh, one uh, mode to another because we will be having a detailed video on navigating uh, on the different uh, modes of the uh, Cisco IOS. So please uh, stay tuned for those videos. Now we will uh, check it on the switch. Coming to CLI, here also we can give line console 0. And here we can see uh, that uh, line configuration mode. Now we will go to interface configuration mode. Interface fast authority. Here I am going to give 0 slash 1. And here we can see now we are in interface configuration mode. Sure, one thing we have to keep in mind. Every mode is identified by the command line prompt that is unique to that mode. We can see every mode prompt is begins with the device name. So uh, we can see the example uh, router. So that is a device name. Then after we can see the prompt. It's a config hyphen line hash. That means now we are in a line configuration mode. Well, in this video, we have seen uh, Cisco IOS uh, modes of operation. Friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions, please comment below. Also consider subscribing for the future videos. Stay tuned. And we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.